In beauty contest parlance, this is what has been called a photo call. For women's lib, it's called a cattle call. From the start she, she said she'd never hurt me But then she turned around And broke my heart Such a joke to see the way it hurts about the beauty world contest and really it does seem very sweet for this it was just attacking it that it was a cartel market in a way they have some reason in the way that sometimes many times beauty queens are just only beauty for being a decorative object but really it is it hasn't to be like that way a beauty a beauty queen who should be a real woman who can think decide and fight and that reason is what made me to enter in the beauty contest in my country because I wanted to demonstrate that a beauty queen doesn't have to be just a beauty queen but as I said before a real woman and you know all of, of us that are here in the beauty contest of, me, of Miss World we have a very great responsibility on because one of us will be the representative of Miss World women and that girl should be real as a woman, not, uh, you know, worrying all about by clothes and makeup and things like that, not, but a real woman. Miss South Africa, do you share those views? Yes, I, I do agree with you. I feel that the emphasis has changed from it being purely just a body contest, as someone expressed it the other day, to c judges considering more than just outward appearance. I think they do consider personality and intelligence as well. But what we've seen today, really, you are just a sex object, standing out there in a bathing suit. Perhaps if you just look at the girls, that's the impression you get, but I'm sure if you had to talk to nearly every single one of them, you'd be aware that there's more than just an attractive face. There's, there's a lot of depth to these girls. I've made a point of speaking to them because this has concerned me quite a lot. Do you agree with women's live generally? Um, I do, yes. There are so, some extreme aspects, but on the whole, I think it's, it's got some pretty good points. And you don't consider yourself a sex object by being in a contest like this? Uh, no, I don't. If, if I enter voluntarily, I don't feel that it's, it's um, perhaps an example of... Running. Ready. Ready. 
we have a lot of these false starts working with these English winners. <laughs> Come on, Derek. Uh, Miss Smith, what do you think of all of this? Well, it's been real hectic, but I am enjoying it. It's um, some things I find that I'm I'm not really that much into, but other things are are good about the contest. Do you mind parading around in a bathing suit in front of all these people? Well, I think every girl likes to be known for more than just her body. But I feel that it's a part of the contest. You take the good with the bad, and if it's a part, then you go along with it. And uh, hope that maybe they will consider more than just the body. What do you think of women's lip? I've been asked this question many times, but I do very much in some ways agree with it because I feel that basically it, it is very good. However, I don't agree with the extremist point of view. I feel that it's accomplishing nothing. That, um, I don't know. I feel that if you're going to be that extreme, then you're just not really going to get your point across to anyone and it's only going to antagonize other people. What, what would you consider to be extreme? Well, such as um, arguing over whether a man opens the door for you or, or something like that. Do you think that you are hurting the cause of women's liberation at all by participating in contests like this? Well, the thing is, well, my philosophy is that you can change something by staying within it and then trying to subtly change it, not by dropping out completely and being so antagon antagonistic towards something that uh, you're only uh, defeating your purpose. And so if if a woman's liver would join a contest, I feel like perhaps if she won it, she could accomplish more than those who drop out from it. Uh, if you win it, would you try to be a woman's liver? Not completely. Um, I will try to make people think that I'm more than just a body, that I'm a person that has feelings. But I think this is what any girl would try to do. Good luck. If you win, will you behave as a woman's liberal? Well, not completely. I will try to do my best to make everyone feel that I am a person rather than just a, a body, an object. And I think that this is what any girl would do in my case if she did win. Good luck. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Slightly, but slightly to me too. This is. Uh, I uh, ran into it, won it, so I was obligated to go on. And so since then, I've tried to fuse my because I'm my beliefs are my opinions or views because here I am representing something that is entirely different from what I believed before I got into the contest. You know, so how it's hard for me to. Um, what did you believe that they were? Well, I was against contests because I thought that it was just a, a body show, you know? Oh, there's something else that I wish in a way that you would have asked because Sorry. it's about about parading uh, in the contest with many girls that were beautiful, I mean, with better uh, face and figure than I had. But um, I tried to work on something that I feel that I have more of in my body, and that's maybe personality. And so I think I came across on stage with personality. Doing what, though? Just standing there? No. Well, I guess you could say standing there, but it's, it's a something that comes out of you, that, that you express, perhaps out of your eyes or or the way you handle yourself, the way you look at other people. It's not something that... You can tell when a girl has a fake smile, you know, a yeah. fake smile, and she doesn't mean it. She's just up for the body, you know, look at my body, that's it. Um, what do you hope to get out of it, if you, you, know, if you win, really? apart from the, the hard cash that might be involved? Is it the fame, the glory, the travel, um, the, the work? No. What do you hope to get um, out of it? Not particularly the fame of glory, because I've never really been that interested in anything like that. 
the travel, definitely. I love to travel. Um, I think the experience, because I've been cooped up in a small town all my life, you know? And I think that just being exposed to so many things that I've never been exposed to before will really open my mind up and make me see the other side. Okay. Africa South. What do you think of all this? You're not, you're not um, actually, this isn't going to be on um, yeah. Is it going to be on film? Yes. Gentlemen, not while she's like that. Can she get dressed then sure. after? Okay? Instructions while she's in a swimsuit? No questions. Right. No questions while she's in swimsuit? Yeah. Can you go and get dressed now, please? All right. We'll see you after. Um, I don't say it goes like that. Because otherwise you're going to be very flat on your bed, aren't you? Yes, you're a little bit tired. Are you going to... Uh, can you hold the wing? Come on. And the best of the United States of America. very much and now the next please